17. It is 617. Good morning. Temperatures today warming up quite nicely and in fact uh, quite possibly tying a record in Minot with 74. That record was set back in 1975 at 74. Here's the Bismarck Almanac. 74 is our high also in the capital city with that record set back in 2016 at 76. That was a really warm fall and if my memory serves me correctly we had a really warm Thanksgiving and then we plunged after that that year uh, in December to single digits for highs. That was a unique fall. But uh, here's your temperature forecast uh, for today. We start off in the 30s and some low 40s, so starting off relatively warm for this time of year, and southwesterly winds are 5 to 10. They stay southwesterly, but they are increasing again. Sustained wind speeds of around 20 miles per hour, gusting to 30, and then they taper off by this evening. But highs today are going to be nice, lots of 70s. This is probably one of our last days with widespread 70s because we do have a little bit of a cooling trend heading into the weekend. Some of our cool temperatures off towards the northeast and the upper 60s, but most of us reaching into the low 70s. Now we head into Friday being the deer gun opener. A lot of folks have been waiting on this day. It begins officially at, I believe, noon tomorrow. The highs tomorrow are going to be in the 60s across the state, possibly seeing some upper 50s around that Divide County area uh, and the Turtle Mountains, but we're going to be dry with a light northerly wind into the afternoon and increasing clouds through the afternoon on Friday ahead of this system that's going to change everything for the weekend. Now, not everybody's going to be impacted as much by the system. We're all going to feel the winds. When you see these lines get really tight together like this, this shows you where the winds are getting stronger, and that's across the state uh, going into late Saturday into Sunday. So here's the center of that low. Right now it wants to move through parts of western North Dakota and the current line of thinking is that we could pull in some dry air and some very warm air from the south. So that's really going to hold back on that precipitation for central North Dakota. A lot of that snow falling in Montana. But as this system uh, does continue to move to the north and pull in colder air, it could certainly bring maybe a quick snow for central North Dakota. I am watching northwest North Dakota as an area that could see some shovelable snow, but the higher numbers uh, are mostly around Glasgow, mostly around Montana there, and we certainly could see maybe a little bit of light snow make its way into central North Dakota as that exits on Monday. So is this going to be a high impact event? I, I don't see that right now. We're going to have to watch that low to make sure it doesn't shift to the east because that changes a lot of folks for a lot of things rather for folks in central North Dakota. But you can see here we're looking at some snow accumulation for northwest North Dakota, maybe not necessarily high impact, but I do think high impact for Montana. Uh, rain for central North Dakota is a better possibility, possibly a quick uh, wind to remix as it does exit. Here's the forecast into Dickinson. We are going to go from the 70s to the 60s to the 50s. That is a cooling trend. The same story for Williston. This is our last day with widespread 70s and we have a big shift. Behind that system is a cold front that's going to bring us some very cold temperatures into Monday and you can see why we have a changeover uh, on Sunday night into uh, maybe a wintry mix or a little bit of light snow. Minot, that's your best chance late Sunday to get maybe a little bit of light snow. Heading into Monday, we're going to be pretty windy. This is your Bismarck forecast. I just don't see the chances being uh, as high for snow necessarily for the Bismarck area. Temperatures mostly in the 20s by Monday, and it will be a windy day. We'll be talking more than likely about wind chills. Guys? Well, our, our uh, producer informed me that today is also National um, Man Make the Dinner Day or something like really? that. And so today's a good day for huh. them to we grill. Are, we already hunt. We are right According that to down. Amber's husband, he I, hunts. I, I, but he I needs know. to make also, me some dinner. I know a lot of women who hunt too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. My bad. Thanks, Amber. All right. Thank you, Amber. And keep it with us here this morning on Good Day Dakota. Still to come.